We need to shut down this Zed lab, but we've got intel on some new kind of toxin here. We need more data back at Horsing to analyze it. This place is occupied. We've picked up a heat signature of a Patriarch. Hmm. Neat. So we have, uh, <laughs> welcome back. This is the Amajack. So you have Gunslinger Biotics Lab. Objective. Hell on Earth. That's right. We have to do the, uh, Hell on Earth Objective Mode in Biotics Lab. That is the only achievement that we have to do for, uh, Hold your ground and buy me for Biotics Lab. Still, I believe, right? Taking a quick peek, taking a quick peek, taking a quick peek. Yes. Uh, so we have to do Hard or Higher and Hell on Earth. Hell on Earth is both of those things. So we're just going to do Hell on Earth. And uh, hope that we can actually make it work. Objective mode in KF2 is disappointing, to say the least. Um, it's a lot of just defend the zone stuff. And, like, honestly, defend the zone stuff is largely suicidal. You know, this is Hell on Earth. But... Uh, Largely just a terrible idea, but uh, yeah, it's just it's it's a it's a bad look objective mode in uh, in KF2. It's not very interesting. There's nothing really happening to it, you know. It's just don't die and, and stand in the zone for the most part, right? Which is hard. I'm not saying that they're easy. I'm saying they're not interesting. They're no fun, you know. They're 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 restricted, but not. Uh, not really like, I don't know, they, they seem pointless to me. Too many Zeds, eh? Alright, you guys get out of here. We can kite outside of the zone, we just have to make sure that we are in the zone when we start shooting their heads, okay? It's, uh, yeah, it's just, um... I don't like the, like, I don't even, I don't, I don't do the defend the zone things and, uh... On survival, you know, when, we, when we're playing normally. Even on suicidal. <laughs> So, so I'm not gonna lie to you. This is going to be a uh, a really challenging video. A lot of kiting, and I'm not sure we'll get it done first try. We will likely not. Uh, I believe the boss on this should be the patriarch, so that shouldn't be too big of a challenge. Um, thank God for that, eh? Just get out of there, dudes! Get out of there! <clears throat> So we are at 180 gold. We have not got 180 gold, I guess. I don't know. Or dosh. Not gold. Oh, we have to continue going until we... What the heck? There's infinite zeds? Oh, dearie. Oh, dearie. How long do I have to keep going for? Okay, so we've, we've, we've defended, I guess, as much as we have to. Now we just have to survive for 28 seconds more. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, 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 okay. It makes sense all of a sudden now. It's clicked. It's clicked. It's clicked. In my brain. Oh, jeez. We're dead. Yeah. Man. Objective mode is not easy and time-gated as well. So it's like just... In so many ways... Not so great. <laughs> um, yeah. We did kill like a lot of Zeds that time though. Like we had stuff going on. So these are all of the uh, the things that we have objective mode for. We have to do a harder higher on all of these, and then for uh, outpost nuked, outpost, outposts, steam fortress, and Zed landing. We have to do all of the difficulties. Um, whereas for nuked and biotics lab, we just have to do hell on earth. Which is like just it's weird, right? Anyway, anyway, we're gonna talk about uh, we're gonna talk about meats. We're gonna talk about veggies. I'm not a vegetarian. I want to be. I want to be a vegetarian, but I can't handle it um, for a number of reasons. I think that uh, being a vegetarian has needless complications, and I think that uh, responsible meat eating is is honestly like just as impactful to the world as. Um, or like not responsible, but uh, restricted, like heavily restricted meat eating is is just as um, impactful to the world as uh, as being a vegetarian is in the first place. Like today, um, I had some pork dumplings fried in bacon fat. Now I would have preferred to have veggie dumplings um, because like. 
you know, that, that just, that, okay, we're dead again, hey? Uh, because that just fits what I like better, um, but, you know, whatever. That, that's what the store had. They don't have veggie dumplings at the store I go to, so I can't, I can't get them. They, they don't exist, or if they do, they're not in the aisle with the dumplings anyway, um, which is, is disappointing, to say the least. Um... But, uh, so I, I had some, some, some pork dumplings, pork and veggie dumplings. Like pork and veggies in the dumplings, not, not pork dumplings and then veggie dumplings, but, uh, dumplings with, with both pork and, and veggies in them. Um, and they were fried up in a little bit of bacon fat, because bacon fat was what I already had in the pan after I, I made the, uh, the rest of my food for the day. Which was, uh, a fried egg. And uh, I was like, you know, I could clean out the pan of the uh, the excess like grease and whatnot from this, but like I could also just not, you know, just just put the dumplings in there and, and call it a day, you know. So that's what I uh, that's what I did, and uh, you know, outside of the bacon fat, if I were to have had access to veggie dumplings, it would have been like a vegetarian uh, meal today, right? Like there would have been uh, absolutely no issues with it whatsoever, but. Um, outside of the bacon fat and the veggie dumplings, anyway, it would have been a vegetarian dinner or vegetarian meal, which was oh my god, we're, we're dead again. Don't walk into a dang corner, dude. Anyway, so uh, the, the moral of the story here is that all I really had for meats that I had control over, anyway. Um, I mean, I could have not bought dumplings, but I want dumplings. So like, you know, no, I'm buying I'm buying my dumplings, dude. I want my dumplings. If they, if there's meat in it, then there's meat in it, okay? Um. I might get into making my own dumplings, because that sounds like fun, but anyway, um, and I have like a vacuum sealer, so I could like, anyway, 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 um, so I got, uh, I don't know. so I had my dumplings, they're fried in bacon fat, right, other than the bacon fat, it was, it was vegetarian, you know, assuming that they were vegetable dumplings, anyway, other than the bacon fat then, uh, it would be a vegetarian meal, and, uh, you know, the bacon fat was just bacon fat that my, my parents had. I didn't actually eat the bacon, I didn't make the bacon, I didn't buy the bacon. They made it, they saved the bacon fat because they don't actually like using it, and then they gave it to me, right? Because I like using it. So, like, I didn't contribute to, to the, to the existence of the bacon, I just get to eat the, the nice bacony flavors, you know? Which is um, very nice in my opinion, um, but uh, also, you know, as, assuming again, if I were able to get uh, vegetarian dumplings, which I just I can't actually, I don't have access to them. Um, but assuming I did, you know, there would have been equal impact on the environment if I were to have used uh, you know sunflower oil to uh, to the bacon fat that I ended up using, and I get to have a little bit of a, a nice bacony flavor in the. Uh, in the egg that I had, so I don't have to have bacon and eggs. I just have a bacony egg, you know. Um, which a lot of people, a lot of people get like upset about that, or they 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 get bothered by that. They're like, well, that doesn't sound like a very healthy thing, and shouldn't you shouldn't be using so much bacon fat? But I'm like, all right, let's let's just let's break it down here, okay? So let's say, for instance, that uh, you have an egg fried in a nonstick pan, right? So you have an egg fried in a non-stick pan, and uh, you have uh, some bacon to go with it. Okay, is that is that really healthier than just having an egg fried in bacon fat without bacon on the side? Because it it they, they're you know the the, the single egg is, is healthier for you. Um, no, not not saying that it's healthy, but. Um, there's definitely less calories there, to be sure. And um, I don't have a problem with getting calories. I have a problem with getting nutrition. So I'll uh, I'll dump the calories down whenever I uh, whenever I need to, happily, um, or whenever I can. Uh, so I, I use I use bacon fat in place of bacon uh, quite often. So rather than having bacon, I'll just I'll just you know cook whatever I'm cooking uh, in bacon fat, and then. Uh, it's fairly similar, you know, like if you have a, an English muffin and instead of buttering it with butter, you just like fry an egg 
in bacon fat and then let a little bit of the bacon fat drip down onto the uh, in onto the English muffin. It's roughly the same amount of fat as if you were to have just used butter to butter your your English muffin, but it's like way less fat than if you were to use butter to fry your uh, English muffin and oh, we have to be standing in the thing. Okay, I thought it would be counting down while we're not in it, but we have to be standing in it. I understand. Um, but way less fat than if you were to uh, than if you were to be um, you know having butter on an English muffin with an egg that wasn't fried in any fat um, with a piece of bacon on it as well. That's 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 more fat than just using bacon fat instead of butter and then reduce, like getting rid of the bacon, you know. So anyway, people people get uh, all you know, they get their knickers in a twist about using bacon fat or like any kind of animal fat for that matter. You know, my parents will cook um, wings in like our, our pressure cooker, and if you ever done that, like it, it draws out a ton of fat from the chicken wings, um, which is like good because chicken fat is like really, 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 really good. Because <laughs> um, like at that point, you don't you don't season it at all when you're when you're tossing it in the pressure cooker, right? Okay, this is like super scary actually. Like it's not seasoned once you're putting it in the pressure cooker, right? Like it's it's just chicken. Right? It's not until you pull it out. Oh my god. This is just terrible. It isn't until you pull it out of the, uh, the pressure cooker and you, uh, you know, toss it into the, uh, the, uh, the oven to, uh, starts properly cooking it up to, to get some nice, uh, Maillard reaction on it. It isn't until that point that you actually get, uh, the seasonings out. You start putting on salt, pepper, um, you bit of cayenne, some, you know, whatever you want, rosemary. Who cares, dude? I don't care. Um, it until that point. So when it's in the pressure cooker, all that fat is just pure bacon fat. It's not flavored bacon fat or whatever. So, you know, you save that, and it's uh, super, super tasty if you're gonna be roasting some veggies or something like that to use instead of like olive oil or something like that. Um, anyway, people get super antsy about using uh. So again, like people use butter for anything, right? Like they'll they'll, they'll butter their toast, they'll butter their popcorn, they'll butter their this, they'll butter their that. The moment you replace the butter with like tallow, <laughs> and in anything, like like some things, it's not reasonable to replace butter with um like fat, like meat fat, you know. Um, like you're not gonna if you want a piece of toast. I don't know. Even even then, like if you, if 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 you're gonna be buttering, if you're gonna be like you know, buttering your toast with uh, with with chicken fat, I'm not gonna judge you, dude. I'm not gonna judge you. I wouldn't do it personally, but uh, you know, I mean, like if you just want a piece of toast and you're gonna butter it with, I'm looking for ammo, by the way. If you're gonna be uh, just tossing fat on it instead of butter, like. Not my kind of thing, but like, yeah, if you're gonna do it, I don't, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. If you like the flavor of it, then go for it. But um, people, people get messed up when you when you replace the butter in anything with uh, not born yet. with with bacon fat, chicken fat, you know, pork fat, or, or any kind of uh, fat that you've uh, you've rendered out of uh, whatever you're cooking. And I'm just like, a, it's it's cheaper, <laughs> cause like butter is expensive, dude. And you go buy like a pack of bacon, right? You go buy you go buy a pack of bacon. You cook that bacon up, right? You can get a a pretty hefty amount of uh, of fat out of that, right? And you can use that to replace butter in like a huge number of things without there being too much issue for for most people. You know, like you know, buttering your toast with bacon fat is is one thing. A lot of people are probably gonna be off put by that. Um. But if you're making like fried rice or something like that, you use a bit of bacon fat in that, and I tell you, it's gonna taste better than if you use butter. Just straight up, it will. Even as long as you like bacon. But it doesn't even make it bacony, it's just better, in my opinion. Um, and then, uh, you know, it's just, it's just, it's weird how people have this, uh, this stigma around using animal fat for things, like it's worse for you or something like that. Like, no, it's not good for you. Like, bacon fat is not good. Right? Big fat is not good for you. Neither is butter. They're they're roughly equally as bad. <laughs> as far as I'm aware, they're both saturated fats, so like they are they are pretty much 
Oh my god, really? Really? Really though? Really? Oh my god. Oh my days. What? That's horrible. Okay, so, um, Biotic Slap objective on Hell on Earth solo. We'll give it one more attempt here. Um, but, like, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to do this solo. I might have to get some peeps to come help. Because, like, holy... Anyway, um, so what are we talking about? Right, bacon fat and people stigma around it. There's this stigma, you know, there's this stigma that people just hate animal fat for some reason, like it's somehow worse for you, and I don't get it. Again, it's not good for you, it's just, neither is butter, you know? It's not, it's not worse for you to, to replace the uh, the butter in most things with, with bacon fat, you know? Not to say that you should replace it in most things, but like for most purposes that you would use butter in. Bacon fat is is pretty much just a, a straight trade, you know? More or less. I mean, they're both bad for you, right? So it's like, I don't know. So to, to me, I just kind of... I view it as kind of childish when people... My, my parents in particular get really grossed out by me using bacon fat and things like... Uh, typically what I'll use bacon fat for is for, um, again, fried rice. Uh, if I'm frying up an egg, if I happen to have bacon fat left in the pan. Oh, yeah, yeah, we were going to be talking about how it's cheaper. So it's cheaper, right? Like, bacon fat is cheap in the butter. You, you get, like, a huge bit of butter out of it when you when you buy, like, a single pack. You get a huge uh, pad of fat out of it when you buy the um, a pack of, uh, of bacon, right? And uh, you, don't have to, you don't have to buy butter at that point. You were going to be throwing it out otherwise, right? It's literally stuff you're going to be throwing in the garbage. And now you just get to eat it. And it saves you on butter. And it tastes better in, like, a lot of uses. And it's just like... Bruv. <laughs> Why are you throwing this stuff out? It's amazing. But I, uh... I use bacon fat on the regular. I don't buy bacon. My parents buy it. Right? My parents my parents make bacon fairly regularly. Um, they like bacon for, for breakfasts and for dinners and stuff. You know, they're, they're, they're fans of bacon. I like bacon, but... Not enough to typically, like, buy it and then cook it. I just... Maybe, maybe if once I'm, uh... Not living near my parents anymore. And I can't get... You know, I'm living literally in the same house as them right now. So there's definitely a certain... Uh, proximity benefit to that right now. But... You know, maybe in the future, once it's harder for them to just... Hand their bacon fat over to me. Maybe I'll buy bacon on occasion. Just so I can get the other uh, bacon fat. But, like... Currently, I just... I don't see the, the point, necessarily, of, uh... Of buying bacon when I can just take the the bacon fat that my parents have like harvested from their bacon and uh, use it in whatever I want to have a, a bit of a bacony flavor to it, you know? Like why use bacon when I could just use bacon fat instead? Honestly, doesn't really make any sense to me, dude. Um. Anyway, that's kind of my stance on the matter. I just people get so. And they do, they do, like, people do so, so, so frequently when I talk about how I, uh, I'll use bacon fat in things. Or how, how I have a jar of bacon fat, like, it's kind of gross. I'm like, you have a bag of butter in your fridge. Like, they're, they're the same thing, pretty much. Like, they're, they're, they're pretty much just the same thing, so, you know, I just spent less money on mine. And it tastes better. It's just it gets me, dude. It gets me. It really does. So uh, now that I understand how Wave 1 works, Wave 1's uh, significantly easier. Uh, wave 2, however, is a disaster. So we're not going to be getting uh, the Deagles in this wave. Because, actually, I should have gone to the spot first. Because I want out of this room, like... Oh, dear, where is it? Where is it? Are you going to be here? Are you going to be showing me here? Yeah, you're showing it up here. Cool, 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 cool. Go, go, go! 
Oh god. Oh god, this is gonna be a, a whole thing, hey? Oh, oh what? Where's the other ones? Over there, over there, over there. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. This one seems doable, perhaps. Not really in a great spot, but doable at least. I don't like this wave, dude. It's kind of garbage, dude. I really don't want to go that way, though. That's a, a terrible route to take, honestly. This is not very good either. That's that's kind of why right there, right? That's kind of why right there. This is a little bit better. Ah, we're gonna go up here then. I'm not I'm not following the dang objective, okay? Because it's total disaster to to take the route that it wants me to. Heading through that one tunnel there is like suicide, though. Even the one that we took was kind of a little iffy, to be honest with you. Okay, it's over here. Cool, cool, cool. I like this area. I like this area. This is a good spot to put one, dude. This is a good spot to have a uh, an intelligence at. Now, there is still a problem with this, whereupon uh, we have to get back. I'm going to try this way. Might work. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Boom. Done. Easy. 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 Okay. So once you have them all following you, it's actually pretty simple. But you got to get them all following you first. And then... And only then can you uh, can you make your move. Okay, that's wave two done. I mean, pretty much. You know, be a disaster if we died at this point. Anyway, so I'm not a vegetarian, but uh, I think that my uh, that my meat consumption is is responsible enough that uh, I'm having a similar impact to somebody who is. I wish I could be a vegetarian, but I just I also don't want to be. Is the other thing. So like, we'll take a Glock actually. I'd rather have a Glock. Um, Glock is a little bit faster firing, gets us out of these terrible situations. Hoping we don't get uh, too many like quarter pounds and stuff like that in this wave, but I think we can. Okay, this is just to kill the Zeds. This is just to kill the Zeds. This one, no problems here, dude. No problems here. I can handle this kind of a responsibility. More waves like this, please. This one should be doable. So wave, we're gonna get to wave four probably, and then uh, I'm not saying we're gonna die at wave four. I'm just saying after that, I don't know what'll happen. I don't know what objective mode does for us here. So uh, it could it could be doable? More and more kill all the Zeds, and 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 we'll be we have a, a decent a decent chance honestly. But uh, more kill all the Zeds, we have decent. Chance. Now it is a hell on earth wave, so it's not like it's super duper easy, but. Uh, yeah, I, I've shown that I can do Hell on Earth before. You know, I've done Hell on Earth on... Uh, oh, jeez. I've done Hell on Earth uh, Biotic Lab. You know, we've got that achievement done already. Forever ago. Um, so we've got so we've got a good chance of, uh, of surviving here for sure. Too many dang rioters though, dude. Is it all clots? Is that what's happening here? They're all clots? And the rioters? I don't like it. I don't like it. I'm glad I took the Glock though, dude. Like, for realsies. Not going that way. I was hoping we could grab the Krovel. <laughs> Too many rioters, dude. I kind of I take it back. I wish I grabbed the Deagles instead, because... Uh, at least with the deagles, we'll be able to kill these rioters a little bit easier, you know? We have to shoot them in the legs like 18,000 times. Which is like an, an investment that I'm not uh, I'm not prepared for. With the deagles, we could just shoot them in the face, you know? As long as we're keeping up that rack -em up bonus, but with just a bunch of cloths charging at us. And rioters? Like, dude, not that hard. 
to, to keep up that rack map, honestly. Okay, wave four. Little Kevin lives, eh? You would like a cockroach in a good way. Uh, I would love if I could have afforded some deagles at this point, though. I was kind of expecting it to be uh, affordable. A little bit disappointed that it isn't, but we'll see what this wave is and if it's doable. Activate the console, hey? Okay, so this is like the um, Steam Fortress one. I don't really like this area so much, to be honest with you. Not a very, uh, not 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 super pleased with this area to be fighting all the Zeds in. It's not my not my preference, not my first choice for sure. Especially with just a Glock. Yeah, so uh, we're gonna kite a bit here. We're just gonna leave. Okay, I'm out. Nice knowing you guys. You guys are, are a great time and all that, but uh, go ahead and activate this console. Please kill everything in here. That's what I want. Freeze them all? Oh, it totally did, too. That's really cool. Okay, we do still have the, uh, the Flesh Pound sitting back there, too. He's definitely a problem, although... Not ready, not ready. It's going to be ready, though, in a moment here. Okay, we're going this way. We're going this way. We're going this way, dude. Yeah, we're dead. So, objective mode, Hell on Earth, Biotics Lab is, like, significantly harder than biotics lab hell on earth normally is and i expected it to be but it's even harder than i expected it to be so we're gonna hold off on this one for now um anyway a little bit disappointing but you know here's what it is we're level five we're level five survivalist now we are actually gonna get to to max prestige survivalist without doing any survivalist that's kind of funny to me. Um, anyway. It's going to do it for today. That was insanely hard. Um, thanks for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.